lists on the web. Lists are sequential groupings, sequ sequential sets of similar items. And I think that's one of the things that we expect about lists when we see a list of things on the web is that every item in the list will be of a similar variety. Of course, you know where I'm going with this. Every item on the list will be an item and not necessarily an item of the same information type, although quite possibly, quite likely, an item of the same information type. So if we have movies, every item on our list of movies will be a movie. But sometimes we have heterogeneous lists, but we do expect that every item on the list be of a similar type. So we might have movies and television shows, for example, on there. But it's not likely that we'd have a list of movies and people, let's say. So an alphabetical list of movies and people. Hmm, possibly, but much less likely than, than that it would be homogeneous, and at least homogeneous to a wider grouping of information types. So lists, it's pretty clear um, uh, what a list is, but take a look at the different images that are on this page and you'll see a few different forms of lists that you might not have thought of before. There's obviously the list that's just a, kind of like a bullet list. Boom, 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 one line per, one line per item. But there's also lists that have, uh, like the lists of results from a, from a search. That's a, list, that's, a, that's a list like any other list, but each item in the list is extensive. It has some, it has some bulk to it. It has a title and maybe a paragraph of text. It may even have a little bit of functionality with it, some buttons, whatnot. Um, and then there's also the list that you see here, which is a list of pictures. So that's a list, just like any other list. It's a, it's a sequential set of items. Each item is similar to the others. They're all, they're all people, basically. This is a representation. It's a list of people. And then we also have lists that are in tables. And so one of the items that you have here, or one of the pictures that you have on this, on this page, is a table. And that table has rows, and each row is one of the items in the list. And it can have whatever kind of um, uh, lined out information, lined out elements that you need to have in the table. One of the things that we, uh, that we expect from our lists is A, like I said before, that all of the items be of a similar variety or a similar type, but also that the list ordering have some um, logic to it. So if it's a list of, of words, then we expect that those words will be organized alphabetically. If it's a list of dates, for example, we expect that the dates will be numerical. Um, we, may be, we may have the list um, uh, ordered by relevance, ranking, some kind of thing like that. Really anything you can think of. But what's interesting is that alphabetical and numerical really do boil down to be the two ways that we can sort these lists, the two ways that we can present these lists. And most of the other ways that we have of, of sorting lists, we usually boil down to a numerical sort. So, if, for example, relevance might be boiled down to a relevance number, 1 to 10, and then the list is sorted by that number. The one exception to this is something we'll see later that, I'll, that I won't even call a list. I'll call it something completely different. But we can have that list ordered by the, the order in which the author of the list would like you to consume those items, the order in which they want you to look at them. And so that's not an ordering that really boils down to numerical or, um, or alphabetical. It's a subjective ordering. It's an ordering that the author of the list believes you should consume those items in. And so that's lists. Lists represent uh, collections, uh, sorted collections of similar items that we expect to be logically arranged. And they could come in the form of pictures, they can come in the form of tables, they can come in the form of bullet lists, they can come in the form of blocks. One block per result, per result item of, the, uh, of a search result, for example. And that's lists.